Hi, my name is Rahul Suwane and this video is a quick demonstration of Point Studio's Fragmentation Analysis add-on module and its relation to a BLAST in BLAST logic. As you can see, I've got a resolution for scan in my Point Studio. All the user has to do is to select the fragmentation analysis, choose a destination container. The scans origin coordinate automatically gets populated for a scan generated by MapTech scanners. Once the results are populated, the user can run the fragmentation analysis report to provide a particle size distribution from this container. While the analysis is underway, let's look into the color legends. As you can see, I've selected a range of somewhere between 0 to 1500 mm. Uh, the user can choose another number based on their discretion. So once the maximum and minimum are set, right click on the color bar to specify the number of intervals for the color and the desired color scheme. Now I've got the results in my container. All we have to do is to run a report so track the fragmentation results and legends please note a custom mesh size of 100 mm and i will detail it just in, in a bit the result after this is an automated report showing fragmentation distribution and its curve also we can see what is the size of the mesh through which the following percentage of the particles will pass. We can also see the 100 mm custom mesh and it will only pass 15.1% of the rocks. So the user can set adequate site based mesh sizing in the panel that just preceded this. This way, the users can predict the downsize based on their crusher parameters and any rock breaking requirements. Once the report has been run, the color scheme gets applied to the rocks and finds to the objects. The users can then load this analyzed data against a panoramic view of the scan. As we can see, there's a fairly big rock here in addition. It is also important to note that the tool allows manual manipulation of the rocks. So as you can see, firstly pressing plus and minus keys on the keyboard will increase the size of the objects for clear visibility. So let's consider this example. If a big rock was separated by the tool into two separate parts. The user could use their discretion and merge these objects. So select the objects and edit merge. The result gets saved in the CAD container and the user can just drag and drop into the rocks and press Ctrl 2 to recolor the objects. The user can then run the fragmentation analysis again based on this new rock sizing. Now we will see how blast logic can be used to predict the fragmentation that was just measured. As you can see, I've got a blast and I'm running a fragmentation prediction based on the input rock characteristics. The user can create a heat map. As you can see, display the color scheme. And in this example, we will note the left hand corner of the blast. It's got slight oversize, as you can see. The key question that blast logic will provide an answer to is whether this oversize was due to design or poor execution of the blast. Blast logic being a single source of truth stores the design information, the charge information. As you can see, we've got 169 kilograms. Of design and also the actuals which is 
five kilograms in this example as opposed to 169 kilograms of design as you can see there this was captured using plus logic crew tablet and clearly in this hypothetical example we can see the cause of oversize might have been a poor execution on that corner so i thank you for your time for viewing this video and if you have any issues please feel free to contact maptic support using the request support button up there or please contact your local maptic office thank you